Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into what the best charms are and what you should be using for your setups. One of the least talked about topics when it comes to how much diamonds you earn and how much damage you do is probably what your charms are. In reality though, your charm setups have a lot to do with how much you actually earn and making sure that you're using the right ones can make or break your setup. There are also a ton of misconceptions when it comes to these charms, so hopefully in this video we can clear some of those up for you and you can figure out what really you should be using in the first place. I've also decided to format this video like a tier list, so we will be adding each of these charms to a tier list so it is more clear on which ones you should be using for various situations. I will leave a link down below to the tier list if you want to fill this out for yourself and share it with me over on Twitter. Also, a reminder for those who don't know I do daily giveaways over on my discord channel with special giveaways for the more active players on the discord It is also absolutely free So if you want a chance at winning a huge every single day You should definitely check it out link for the discord will be down in the description below as well as that I am also pushing to be a big games partner so I can get even more giveaways to do for you guys as well as produce some better daily content for pet sim So if you guys could just go ahead and subscribe it would help me out tremendously in the selection process Thank Thank you guys so much for that now let's prepare for a yap fest and get right into this video all right you guys so i was going to show you my setups on my grinding accounts but it seems like pet simulator is down and it has been kind of down for the past couple of hours we can just talk about the charms itself and then show you examples as well as the tier list now when it comes to charms in pet simulator 99 there honestly is not just a best setup that i could really show you honestly each charm can be used in different ways and depending on what you are trying trying to grind for is going to be what determines what charms you should be using all right you guys so here we have the tier list now i changed it up from the traditional like s to d format so now we have this different format that kind of works better for the charms that we're always talking about now keep in mind this tier list is just going to be my opinion there is no wrong or right way it really truly just depends on your situation which charms you should be using so in this tier list we're going from always use all the way down to never touch whatever you do and also keep in mind i do enjoy gambling just as much as the next guy but if you do want charms just go ahead and buy them Honestly, the odds to get the charms that you want from charm stones are really bad and it's pretty much always going to be cheaper to just go ahead and buy the ones you need. I can already see the comments of somebody complaining that they got a royalty charm in their first five charms and that I shouldn't even say that, but trust me, coming from a guy who's probably opened upwards of 100,000 charm stones, the odds absolutely suck for these. Just buy the ones you need. We also have to go top right Mateo because there's no other way to not block all the charms on this list. So sorry about that. Now starting off strong, we have the agility charm. Now I have to apologize for the agility charm because I have absolutely slandered this charm in the past and a lot has changed since I started playing early the game. Now previously, many of you guys know my favorite charm was the strength charm. And honestly, I just stacked a bunch of them on every huge that I could possibly get. But since then, I've matured and grown and realized that there is a lot of room for charms like the agility charm. For that reason is why I do say that the agility charm is actually our first S tier or always use charm. Now, I am very biased with this one because it technically isn't an always use charm. We'll get to that in a second. But basically what I'm trying to say, the speed of your huges plays an enormous role in how much you make because what i didn't realize when i first started playing the game is how low of a damage cap there is to most breakables so for the majority of the time doing more damage to breakables with your huges isn't going to help you in the slightest bit at the max damage in the game you're only going to be three hitting breakables so doing any more damage to that is completely useless so having speed on your team for your huges to be able to go to the next breakable is actually what's going to determine how much you're earning when you're grinding and especially when grinding for items having speed on your huges is so important and i just honestly did not understand all of this when i first started playing the game and when i made that last tier list like three months ago on top of all of that the agility charm is one of the cheapest charms and there's no excuse there to not have it on your huge honestly when you first get a huge and it's level one this is the charm you should be throwing onto it which brings me to my third point which is the fact that this charm is actually sometimes better than the xp charm at leveling up huges 
for that reason, the XP charm never touch. Never touch whatever you do because the agility charm does what the XP charm does, but better and it gives you that benefit of earning more because your huge is able to move faster and hit more breakables. These things also do cost quite a bit. Now, I'm pretty sure this is because of the ability to craft those XP potions, but I've literally done multiple tests and at most, I've seen these two pretty much tie at being able to level up huges quicker. And even in the test that I did a few months ago, the agility charm actually beat the XP charm and leveled up one of my huges faster than the XP charm did. Now, the thing with leveling huges is it is a lot of RNG and just what your huges are able to hit and break. So leveling them up every time isn't going to give you the same result. But the point is that the agility charm is on the same level and does more than the XP charm and is cheaper. So for all those reasons is why I do think it deserves to be in the always use category and it is very good. Now next up here we have the bonus charm. This is going to be in the never touch whatever you do. This should not be on your huges no matter what. It is still very unclear what this bonus charm even does. We have not had to definitive testing or proof what the bonus charm actually helps you to do. Now, I have seen tests disproving that the bonus charm even gives you bonus diamonds at all when doing grinding over long periods of time. So for that reason is why I suggest that you guys just do not use it at the current moment. It just does not seem like it's the meta. Now, just kind of staying on topic here, I'm actually going to skip over to the glittering charm. Now, the glittering charm is actually very good for a lot of people. At 16,000 wrap, these charms are very worth it and you're gonna make back your investment in multiples now i'm also pretty sure that the glittering charm is the only charm that actually has a diminishing return on stacking so you can't just stack all four of them once you hit level 99 well you can but after two of these you, the returns you get from stacking more of them just goes down over time so for that reason is why i only suggest that you use two of these but if you are just starting the game and just have a few huges these diamonds that you get from two of these glittering charms are actually very helpful. You can make an absolute ton of diamonds by using these charms. Now, in the case of late game pet sim, when you are just making a ton of diamonds by grinding the last area with your team, I don't necessarily suggest using these because I feel like some of the other charms can be more beneficial, especially if you are grinding a lot of item drops or just a lot of diamonds in general. Using some of these other charms on this list are probably going to be more helpful for you now staying on the diamond theme we got to talk about the diamond charm now i'm gonna put this in the there are better column now if you didn't know already the diamond charm increases the amount of diamonds that your pet earns by 10 percent now this 10 percent bonus is only for that pet so whatever damage that the one pet is doing to that breakable and however many diamonds you get you get 10 percent more now to put it in perspective you can have up to 99 pets at once so all of those pets are hitting different breakables and getting little bits of diamonds at a time a 10 percent increase of diamonds that one pet is getting is just not really that good so I definitely don't suggest using this. You can definitely fill it with something that's better on this list. And I also think that when you get to a point in the game where this might be actually beneficial, there is a better charm on this list that I'm about to go over in a second. So pretty much never use this, but I wouldn't say it's like completely useless. It's better than some of these other charms on this list if you actually have absolutely nothing left. Which brings me on to probably one of the most useless charms. It's honestly hard to say with this game because uh, there's a few of these that are pretty useless the coins charm basically just gives you an additional amount of coins that your pets earn so whatever you're huge so basically it does what the diamond charm does but for coins i don't even think i have to explain it don't use the coins charm it's just there's more useful charms on this list even using the agility charm would probably net you more coins because your pets would be able to hit more breakables than the bonus that you would get from using the coins charm now we're kind of skipping around here because i keep getting ideas when i'm talking about other charms but let's move on to actually the lightning charm. So the lightning charm, this is actually going to be kind of a controversial one. I'm going to put this in the sometimes used category. Now, in terms of AOE damage, this is honestly not like too bad of a charm. It actually does something. It does help you grind like uh, an area of breakables quicker. So I definitely suggest it if you are trying to do that. 
but I know I keep saying this, but again, I think there's just a better one on this list. So unless you just have this line around or you just opened it and you don't want to go ahead and look for other charms, this might be good for what you're trying to do. Now, the situations that you want to use AOE damage charms are going to be ones in which you're trying to destroy the most amount of breakable as possible because this isn't going to increase the amount of damage that you do to one single breakable. So it's not going to help you to farm like boss chests or anything like that. But if you're trying to get drops from breakables itself, Itself, sort of like the prison keys the glitch cores from that other update as well as seashell from this update those things that drop from breakables these charms actually help out a lot because you can actually break the breakables around the one that your huge is hitting now going into that if you do want to do the most damage to those types of breakables definitely use the tnt charm the tnt charm is honestly just a very good charm overall also in grinding boss fights i found that the tnt charm is very good these tnts that drop from your huges actually do a ton of damage to stuff like the bosses as well as like the little chests around the bosses so these TNT charms are very useful. I definitely suggest buying these over the lightning charms. But again, this is just going to be really good for destroying breakables in an area. So not doing a ton of damage to one, but doing them in an area. These are your go to. Now, if you remember earlier, I said that the agility charm is the first charm that you should put on a huge once you get it. Now, the second charm that you should put on a huge once you get it, in my opinion, is going to be the strength charm. So the strength charm you can stack as many times as you want like i said i think actually every single one of these charms can be stacked infinitely without drop off except for the glittering charm so in that same way the strength charm can be stacked up to four times or five times i guess if you use an overload charm but these things just add a 30 percent raw damage boost to your huge now this is very important for a few reasons the strength charm is going to assist you in being able to do that three tap two breakables which is what you need to be producing the most amount of diamonds when a huge is at level one you're doing the same amount of damage as your best stat pet but as you level it up over time which you will be able to do a lot quicker with the agility charm Using the strength charm is going to give you that 30% boost and you're going to be able to hit that damage cap a lot easier. So this is just why I use this as my second charm when building a huge. The strength charm is also really good if you are item grinding. So if you're using enchants that give you a ton of items like the boss lucky block, boss chest, superior chest mimic, regular chest mimic, all of those are benefited by using the strength charm because there isn't as big of a damage cap on those items so doing more damage is going to enable your huges to actually farm those quicker you don't necessarily farm breakables quicker because you hit that damage cap a lot easier with huges but these strength charms do help a lot in order to grind items with those other special enchants now for the criticals charm i actually forgot this thing even exists don't use this it's it's just not good i've seen tests with it it honestly did nothing in all of the tests that i've seen honestly if you wanted more damage just use this strength charm do not go with this criticals charm now moving on we have the undefeatable charms the overload charm is the only thing that does what it does which adds an additional two slots for charms on huges so if you wanted you actually could use this at level one and at level one your huges will get that additional two slots so you could actually use that and then add these two which would give you a big benefit for level leveling up that huge in the beginning now these things are very expensive and i don't suggest using them unless you already have a full team of huges while these things are very useful i think you can get more benefit out of just selling it and using the diamonds so for that reason is why it is only an end game charm and you should pretty much only be using this once you already have a full team of huges and you pretty much have nothing else to level up which i can also say for these royalty charms you should pretty much only be using the royalty charm if you already have a max team of huges while these things are very good they are also extremely expensive and you could just be using that cost to be upgrading your pets as a whole now i definitely suggest that over buying these for just a few huges that you might have now the royalty charm is still the best charm because it does everything that the agility charm the strength charm and the diamond charm do but better so it's pretty much impossible to beat this i just don't really suggest using it until you are very wealthy and have a maxed out team pretty much now a lot of people don't know that the royalty charm actually does give you a speed boost so this is useful like the agility charm 
for leveling up your pets. For that reason, the royalty charm is actually the best charm in the game at leveling up your huges because it increases the damage it does, how fast it goes. So both of those combined actually makes your huge do a lot of damage and get a ton of XP. Now, I did just realize I didn't say what charm I would use after adding agility and then a strength. Now, when you are just building up your team at first, I would definitely pick the agility charm first, pick the strength charm second, and then honestly, I would probably add like two of these glittering charms once I level it up. Now, if you are trying to do AoE damage, probably using like one glitter charm and then something like a TNT charm might be useful. But other than that, I think that's pretty much the move for adding charms to your huges. So again, use the agility charm, the strength charm, and then two glittering or sub in a TNT charm if that's what you're looking for. And then once you get to that point where you feel like you need an upgrade to damage or whatever, replace the agility charm with a royalty charm and I think you will be all set. Now again, I'll be leaving a link to that tier list down in the comment section below if you wanna fill it out for yourself and tell me your opinion. That was an absolute yap fest, so I'll try to edit this video down as much as I can, but I hope you guys appreciate it and answered all of your charm questions. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.